Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says in the given figure that is this given figure write all pairs of parallel lines all pairs of intersecting lines lines whose point of intersection is F and lines whose point of intersection is H. First of all we will recall the definitions for the parallel lines and the intersecting lines. First we have the definition for the parallel lines two lines in a plane that do not intersect each other even on being produced indefinitely to both sides are called Parallel lines. Next we have the definition for the intersecting lines two lines in a plane. that intersect each other at exactly one point are called intersecting lines. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Now let's move on to the solution. First of all, we need to write all pairs of parallel lines. Now this is the given figure. From this figure we have to find the pairs of parallel lines. For this, first of all let's read the definition of the parallel lines again. According to this definition we have two lines in a plane that do not intersect each other even on being produced indefinitely to both sides are called parallel lines. Now, if you look at this figure you can see that the lines L and M are parallel lines since they won't intersect each other on being produced indefinitely on both sides. So we say line L is parallel to the line M. Also, the lines P and Q do not intersect each other on being produced indefinitely on both sides. So we can also say that lines P and Q are parallel. That we have two pairs of parallel lines in this figure that is L and M are parallel and P and Q are parallel. So this is the answer for the first part of the question. Now in the next part we have to write all pairs of intersecting lines. Let's look at the definition of the intersecting lines again. Two lines in a plane that intersect each other at exactly one point are called intersecting lines. Now from this given figure we have to write all pairs of intersecting lines. Consider this line L. As you can see this line L is intersecting the line P at exactly one point that is the point A. 
So we say that L and P are intersecting line. So this is one pair of intersecting line. Then again, this line L is also intersecting the line Q at exactly one point, that is the point D. So this is another pair, that is L and Q. Now consider the line M. This line M is intersecting the line P at exactly one point, that is point B. So lines M, P are also intersecting lines. And this line M is also intersecting the line Q at exactly one point, that is the point C. So M, Q is another pair of intersecting lines. This line N is intersecting the line P at exactly one point, that is point H. So, N, P is also a pair of intersecting lines. Then again, this line N is intersecting the line Q at exactly one point, that is point F. So, N, Q is also a pair of intersecting lines. Now, as you can see in this figure that the lines M and N are intersecting each other at exactly one point, that is the point G. So, M, N is another pair of intersecting lines. Also, lines L and N are also intersecting each other at exactly one point, that is the point E. So, L, N is also a pair of intersecting lines. Thus, from the given figure, we get eight pairs of intersecting lines. Let's move on to the next part of the question, in which we have to write the lines whose point of intersection is F. Now in this given figure, let us first locate the point F. This is the point F. As you can see that the lines N and Q are intersecting at this point F. Thus we can say N and Q are the lines whose point of intersection is F. So this answers the third part of the question. Now, in the next part of the question, we have to write the lines whose point of intersection is H. In the given figure, let us now locate the point H. This is the point H. As you can see that the lines P and N are intersecting at this point. Then we can say N and P are the lines whose point of intersection is H. This answers the fourth part of the question. So we have got the answers for all the parts of the question. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of the question.